Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. In this video we're actually going to be uh, doing a Minecraft tutorial on a little system for Mechanism Infinite Power. Now for those that aren't familiar, Mechanism is one of those uh, techie mods that usually come in uh, Technic mod packs or Feed the Beast and stuff like that. I hadn't previously used it but I've uh, just discovered it like literally this month and I, I really do like it. It's uh, it's got a nice array of machines and you know it's it's really fun so um if you've not used it i recommend you give it a go and if you are i'd recommend you use this system especially when you're starting out as a uh, it in my opinion is the best for power generation so how this little system works is it basically uses ethylene gas produced by this little setup here now how this works is the crusher this machine here will take uh, things like apples or saplings, stuff that, you know, is biological, and it will turn it into biofuel, feeding it into this machine, the pressurized reaction chamber, while at the same time, this electrolytic separator, I know a big word, but no need to be intimidated, it's, uh, it's a fairly easy machine to use once I tell you what it does. It basically separates water or any other thing into its two, like, separate, like, gases, so in the case of water, it's hydrogen and oxygen, because H2O. So, that gets fed in here and what happens is it takes the biofuel mixes it with water and hydrogen and it turns it into ethylene gas and that ethylene gas gets burned it's really efficient and actually outputs a decent amount of power it is like self-powering and it will actually power the rest of your machines for a fair while so to know how to build it you will need a electrolytic separator a pressurized reaction chamber a crusher a trash can an electric pump and a gas burning generator to know how to craft all of these just look in your mod menu and most likely you are playing with a pack uh which you can actually like search up the um you know how to build certain things if that's the case just have a look at them and see how they're built uh, if you're not there is a wikipedia like uh for all this stuff there's a wiki for this stuff so you can search it up um i won't tell you how to build them here because it, obviously it will take far far too long However, if you need a hand, just let me know. So, to start it off, find a nice open bit in your base. You know, it doesn't have to be huge, but a nice open, like, room that you've got dedicated to it, probably, would be nice. Three blocks in the floor. Oops. There we go. Create a little infinite water source. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab your electric pump. Now, you'll notice it has two outputs. The top output is always for the water. But the second output is for the power. Now you can face that any other way, but the water will always come out the top. So what you want to do is you want to just choose like an angle where it's easiest to plug in. I'm just choosing this because I've got a lot of open space. That's pretty straightforward. We're just going to put down a universal cable just so we know where that is. So you're going to leave a, a block gap and then you're going to come here and place the pressurized reaction chamber facing the pump. Then you're going to leave a block gap and you're going to place the crusher also facing this direction. You're going to do the same on the other side, leave a block gap and place the electrolytic separator. Yep, they're all facing that way towards the pump. This uh, will make sense in a little bit once I explain it. Then you want to hook these things up. First, I'd recommend finding a place for the power to go. I usually like just running the power like this for this smaller setup. Although if you're doing a bigger setup, it might be worthwhile doing like another method, but this will work fine for the nice small one. So then what you're going to do is you're going to leave a block gap and then come here and you are going to place your gas burning generator, which I'll grab right now. Now it has several outputs, but the green one again is where the power comes out. All the other ones are for gas input. So make sure at least one of these uh, like ambery red ones is facing the pressurized reaction chamber. The green one can be facing any of these three directions. We're just going to put it here for this example. So you're going to take a logistical transporter and you're going to put it in between the pressurized reaction chamber and the crusher. That's a basic logistical transporter. Okay, then you're going to come here in between the electrolytic separator and the pressurized reaction chamber and you are going to place a basic pressurized tube. That's a pressurized tube. All right. And then you're also going to place a pressurized tube in between the generator 
and the reaction chamber. Make sense so far? I hope so. Mechanical pipe is for water and other liquids. So you're going to actually run that out of the top of the pump and into the pressurized reaction chamber. And then you're also going to need to feed it into the electrolytic separator, like so, as these are the two machines that will require water. Don't be alarmed if none of these things plug in right away, as we're going to fix that in just a little bit. So what you're going to want to do is take your universal cable. Remember, this is your power cable, universal cable, and you're going to want to run it up and over these. That makes sure that this will actually power the system while it's powering everything else. So it'll be able to just keep going. Now we're going to resolve that issue of some things not plugging into each other. For example, the basic mechanical pipe will not by default plug into the pressurized reaction chamber. So what you're going to do is come in here, go to side config. Then what you're going to do is come to uh, to fluids, I mean, and then click this button on the top here and there you go. It will plug in. This just means you're taking fluids in the top, which is what we want. That is good. And then here you'll notice the items from this won't go into this easy fix. So what can help is if you look at it from the front, so look at it from this way, open it up. And then we want things to not output that way, obviously, but we want things to input from this side, the left side. So click this button here. And now you'll notice things plug in. That's lovely. Also, you're want you're going to want to press gas on this one here. Make it red. You can turn off this one as we're not taking any gas from this side and just make sure to press this button here. So this says eject on. Okay. So it's blue there, red there. Lovely. So now everything should be hooked up to one another and should function properly. Now, the reason we're actually having the machines face this way, it is quite specific as this machine will only output hydrogen from its right side. So it facing forward, its right side. This side will only ever output oxygen. And while you might need oxygen for other things, we only need hydrogen for this machine to work. Um, now come in here and you're going to want to press this button here, dump excess. So what that will do is if you're not going to use the oxygen, which presumably at the start of the game, you're not, this will just dump the extra oxygen. That way it won't fill up on oxygen and stop functioning. This machine is now ready to run. All you need to do is get some biofuel. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some apples as they are the most efficient biofuel as one of these produces four biofuel. We're going to place it in here and then we're going to jumpstart it. Now, presumably at the start of the game, you're going to have a, um, a heat generator, one of these, which takes coal and turns it into electricity. And I always found these are very, very, very inefficient because they, they burn up all your coal supplies and they don't really give you that much back. So you're just going to dump a bunch of coal into it and effectively use it as like a, a jump starter for the rest of your machine. So as you can see, it is now pumping fluid. The crusher is now running, which will now produce our biofuel. The hydrogen is being dumped into here, as you can see, which is lovely. We're going to see a biofuel come into the pressurized reaction chamber in just a second everything starts to fill up with water which is perfect oh the biofuel isn't coming out that reminds me you should make sure to have this always on on eject on there it is it is now going in there and is now being processed into ethylene gas but you'll notice it also creates this thing called substrate which most likely you won't have a use for unless you do but should you not have a use for it there's an easy way to get rid of it Take a trash can or anything like that from extra utilities, and then you're going to place it here, right? And then you're going to come here and you're going to go to the bottom and you're going to choose output. This will make sure that our stuff like the, the substrate gets dumped because if this fills up, the machine will stop because it can't produce anymore. You're going to go from here, check that to output and then click auto eject and bam, there goes your substrate. It's going into the bin. So this machine can keep running. You can now remove your heat generator as this is now self-sufficient. The ethylene will burn as the machine runs, but it uses between zero and one burn rate. So it is really efficient and you can upgrade these machines to be more energy efficient. So this little system will last you for quite a while, at least at the beginning of any playthrough. Um, 
but you might ask oh but why would like what is like the next step from here like would i have to go into like nuclear reactors or something well if you want to stick with gas i have been experimenting over here with a system that uses basically um a more kind of like beefed out version of what's over there as you can see it uses an ender io farm to basically spam farm these oak trees and output the wood saplings and apples you get a ton of wood from it which is a nice side effect i suppose like this is you know eighteen thousand wood that's always nice but it also outputs an insane number of saplings and apples those saplings and apples become huge huge amounts of biofuel which is actually powering two pressurized reaction chambers and which are almost full of ethylene gas but the main concept of this is it the same as what we built over there just with more running through it i have about what is this eight ten gas burning generators here and they're all filled up with ethylene now right now i have a creative cube but if i was to take a let's see if we take an energy cube to just show you guys how much this can actually create a system like this can actually generate over 50 million rf like in under maybe i'd say 30 seconds 40 seconds now that's an insane amount and this can keep going basically forever the only time it will ever stop is if you actually aren't using all of the power the materials like saplings will back up but that's never a bad thing that just means you've got more of what you actually need so a system like this could realistically power an end game base maybe not one this small maybe you'd want to make it bigger maybe smaller depending on what you're doing but it's very modular i think i think depending on the kind of things you're feeding it it could just run forever um which is really cool but again you'll mainly be starting off with these kind of ones which is a good starting point but that's it uh that's this tutorial uh if you guys need a hand let me know in the comments and i'll make sure to try and help you out best as i can if you enjoyed this video and want to see more subscribe and like if you didn't like the video then there's always a dislike button but why would you ever press that that's just that's just a, a, yeah why would you press that button um but yeah no uh let me know if you guys want to see any other tutorials or minecraft videos i also host my own uh technic pack uh server it's running the 1.12.2 pack if you guys want to join that let me know um you can hit me up on my discord which will be in the description down below and just you know if you guys want to see it, this kind of machine in action or you guys want to build one with me on a server then let me know but yeah until next time guys uh have a great day slash night slash evening slash morning gotta love time zones bye bye everyone bye bye